Hey, Spinners and Sharks, welcome back to Ace of Vegas. In today's video, I'm going to share the three strongest strategies I've found for win slots in the Google Play Store. There's a longer guide in the win slots tips and tricks group, and I'll link that in the description box below. But just consider this a real quick start guide for a few strategies. Now, without further ado, let's cue the theme music and get this party started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, let's go over getting started. The first thing that you want to do in win slots is collect a few chips. Unlike my Vegas slots, win only offers multi-hourly bonuses and the occasional bonus in your inbox on the main screen. Any other chips need to be purchased or won. Your optimal chip package will depend on your level, but on average I've noticed players with upwards of 20 million chips do the best. Once you've collected a few rounds of free chips, feel free to start playing. You'll start off around 5 million chips and have the option of spinning in a regular game or playing the battle mode. I recommend spinning normally for the first 500 gems or so at the minimum bet. Lion Kill, Joker's Wheel, and Monkey God often do me the best service. From the 500 gem mark onward, there are about three distinct strategies that I've seen a lot of traction on. Strategy 1 is betting low and long. The bet low and long strategy is simplest in its execution. You focus on a single game at a low level if you're below 20 million chips, the next level if you're above 20 million chips but below 100 million chips, and the third level at 100 million chips and above. The purpose is to bet enough chips to cycle through a full 500 spins without bottoming out then repeating as often as you can. Depending on your level and what game you play, this is the most efficient. Joker's Wheel is the most popular game, but its 90,000 level 2 bet can be a bit steep for players with less than 40 million chips. For them, I advise a collection game like Bangkok Dreams, Dragon Power, or Monkey God. These allow you to collect items within the game, and it gives you periodic bonuses to make up for the chip-eating slums, allowing for longer play. Strategy 2 is going to war. The battle mode strategy is my favorite, mainly because I'm a competitive person that enjoys head-to-head -head games. While this isn't Mortal Kombat, the battle mode strategy is pretty solid. My record has been about 60% wins, 40% losses, including some bot battles, so on average you'll expect to break even by the end of a session. The first step is to select a single game and focus on it. My slot of choice is Royal Romance, mainly because I can fill up the Royal Romance meter in hopes of winning a big bonus to put the hurt on an opponent and a win chips for another round. The meter sticks around between plays, so focusing on a single slot is key. Also be sure to play till the very end. I can't explain how many heroes comebacks I've had, starting out behind and then winning a ton because my opponent got overconfident and sped through his or her spins. Either way, I've had the best payback percentage doing this one personally, and it's earned me a fair amount of chips. Under 500 gems, around the level 25, I'd only bet about 200,000. 500 and beyond, start betting a million, and once you're over 2,000, take a step up to the next level. Strategy 3, Scratcher Hunter. The final strategy is being a Scratcher Hunter. Now, a Scratcher Hunter is someone who plays specific slot events. They typically revolve around a single slot game and achieving conditions. Spinning 50 times in Mammoth Chase, winning a million chips in one spin on any game, getting 50 orbs in Dragon Power, so on and so forth. You'll get your regular free spins and bonuses, but in addition, you'll also collect what's called a Scratcher Card. These Scratcher Cards will award you with additional chips to either bolster your wins or to recoup your losses, depending on how your payback percentage was during the challenge. I believe that Robert, the admin of the Win Slots Tips and Tricks group, pioneered the strategy, and it seems to be one of his favorites. I've had some success with it in short runs, so it certainly tops my list. And that's it for the nitty gritty strategies for now. There are plenty of other strategies out there, so if you haven't checked out the Win Slots Tips and Tricks group, be sure to give them a like and a follow too. You'll be really glad that you did. Just a few more tips before you go. Number one, be patient. Caesar's Palace wasn't built in a day, and your pool of gems won't be either. Number two, Watch the calendar. Your average room rate during the week is about 2,000 gems, but they're reflective of cash rates. If it's a cheap time to go with cash, your gems will go farther. And number three, 
don't be afraid to try a new strategy. I've only detailed a handful of strategies developed by the brilliant spinners and sharks on the wind slots tips and tricks group. Check out a few and see what works for you. That's all the time we have for today's spinners and sharks. I want to thank my buddy Robert from wind slots tips and tricks for developing the original guide and letting me post the quick start version here too. But before you go, check out his group and be sure to drop a like if you found this video informative and remember to subscribe if you'd like to check out more of my content in the future. Until then, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.